Let me tell you something, Mr. Big Wheels. Let me tell you something, Mr. Dumbo. Mr. Elbow. Mr. Fake. Elvis Presley tribute artist. You listen. You listening to the real deal here, folks? You listening to the Emperor of Boyt? Ah, you've been dethroned, brother. I'm sitting on top of that mountaintop, baby. You've been dethroned. You've been beheaded. The king is dead. And let me tell you something, there, Dumbo. Stop gaslighting everybody. Eh? Stop lying to people saying you only have $500 in the bank. Why don't you add another zero onto that? You have at least $5,000 in the bank. Eh? And let me tell you something, Mr. Big Wheels. I was the first person to report when you were terminated. Because I was up. I'm a night owl, folks. And it was about 1.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3.20 a.m. Central Standard Time, where you are. In the greater Chicago area, folks, over here, over there, doubles, dub bears. Oh, and let me tell you something, folks. Not even Coach Ditka could save you, huh? Michael Jordan couldn't save you, huh? Phil Jackson couldn't save you. Doubles, dub bears, they couldn't save you. I saw you come on one about a week ago, folks, whatever the date was, 10 days ago. I can't keep track. I got a very good long-term memory, but my short-term memory is shot. The bottom line is this, folks. I was there. I have field reporters all over the world. I am the Berg's News Network, the original BNN, going back to 2017. And I was the first one on the scene. And I saw you go live playing a James Brown song, Payback. And you just look like a maniac in there, like a serial killer, cruising around the streets. Probably looking for a uh, Janelle Jackson wannabe, huh? Or a Cleopatra, huh? You were cruising around, cruising, looking for a bruising, baby. And then I went upstairs there real quick to use, to use the head. And then I came back down here to the Berg Cave. And I saw that you were no longer on the air. And I said to myself, where is he? Oh, where, oh, where can Mr. Big Wheels be? The Lord took him away from me. So I looked. And I clicked on that video, folks. And it said, The account associated with this video has been terminated. So stop telling everyone, folks, that you were suspended. You were terminated. And also stop lying to the folks saying that you're not going to get your AdSense. They still owe you that money. Because all the people who super chatted you in August, because we get paid on the 21st, folks. Okay, we get paid on September 21st. And that money is for the previous month. So if they are truly withholding all that money, all the people who super chatted you throughout 
August 1st to August 31st, they could file a class action lawsuit. They're not just going to not pay you. So he's lying about that too, folks. Just like that song, Why You Always Lying? Why You Always Lying? He, he has more than $500 in the bank, and he has... He's going to get paid on the 21st, folks. They just can't take that money away. He had an active channel then in August. Okay? His channel was active. I think he was terminated on September 6th or September 7th. So you're still going to get AdSense. You're still going to get your Super Chats. On October 21st for the first week of this month also also they cannot just steal your money because there'd be major lawsuits because I'm sure you're not the first one to be terminated and you're not the last they can't just take your money so folks in my opinion he's lying about that I don't have the proof I haven't looked into it but it's just common sense they can't just withhold money. Imagine if it was a, a big time heavy hitter like Matt Stoney or L.A. Beast or Pootie Pie or uh, Jeffree Star or Casey Neistat and they just terminated his channel. You don't think they're going to get the hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars from the previous or that other guy Logan whatever that Logan guy you don't think they're gonna get the previous month there'd be major lawsuits they just can't withhold money you earn that money so he's gonna get paid folks he's lying to you just like he's lying about only having five hundred dollars in the bank he will get paid on the 21st they direct deposit. That's how it works. Guaranteed, folks. I, I, I'm willing to bet my life on it. They can't just zero everything out. Because all those people who sent him Super Chats in August, they sent him money. They would be able to file a class action lawsuit against Google and say, Hey, I sent this guy money and he's not getting the money. Just use your common sense, folks. Just because he says something doesn't make it true. Okay? People, people on here like to create their own narratives all the time. Just because he says he's not going to get paid or it's been zeroed out doesn't make it true. Just use your own common sense. He had an active channel in August. Who knows what he made? I don't really, I wasn't following him, but every time I would click on him, he would always get some super chats. There's always some suckers out there. Okay, so who knows what he made? And then he has his AdSense from his pre recorded videos. He probably made a thousand bucks. That's what it normally comes to. You know, YouTube has been drying up. Because, well, you know, we, we're, we're in a pandemic times, folks. You look at the stock market, and the stock market, the Dow Jones is high. But that's just for the rich, the super rich. The Dow Jones does not relate to the average man or woman on Main Street. That's on Wall Street. That's just for the rich people who have stocks. Or 401ks. The average person does not have that. The average person certainly does not have stocks. Maybe maybe a lot of average people have 401ks, but not stocks. So the bottom line is this. This guy, in my opinion, is lying to you, folks. Because I've been monetized since December of 2019. Not that long. But I'm not the ice cream man of Boyd. I don't do anything to get my channel terminated. Bottom line is this. He made that money when his channel was in good standing. 
So therefore, he will get that money. And if not, because he is, he sounds like a very litigious person, someone who sues people. If he truly was not going to get that money, he would take them to court. Think about if uh, Jeffrey Starr, one of those freaks, got terminated and, and they withheld a hundred grand or two hundred grand a month or whatever those those big heavy hitters the whales make on here. Here, they would file a huge lawsuit. It would be in the news. Now, he's going to get that money, folks. So he's going to, in what was it, the 17th now, he's going to get paid in four days. He'll probably get $1,000. Let's just say he made $1,000 last month. When you add up all the Super Chats, he had his members and his, his, his memberships, Super Chats, and AdSense, probably $800, $2,000. He's going to get that money, and he has way more than $500 in the bank. Don't buy, don't, don't believe the hype. What was that song by Public Enemy? Don't believe the hype. D -d 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 don't believe the hype. Don't believe his hype, folks. He's getting paid. And that's really the bottom line. Because his account was in good standing then. That would be a major, major lawsuit. And that's just the bottom line. And he'll get paid on October 21st for, the, what, the five or six days this month that he was getting AdSense and all that. If he, if he was able, you only get paid every month if you're able to make more than $100. I don't know if he, he, he probably made more than $100. Okay. This month, this month, in a week, he made more than a hundred dollars, probably. So he'll 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 get paid next month also. Also, also, I can't say also tonight. All right, folks, that's it. Berg's out.